Hello, do you have old towels around the house that you don't know what to do with? How about repurposing them into a dish drying mat? This tutorial by NeedlePointers.com will show you how. This is the dish drying rack. Now, I used an old towel and I cut it 16 by 18 inches. However, you can cut it any width or length that you would wish, whatever would fit uh, next to your um, sink. Uh, the other thing that you will need is you're going to need some binding and you need to cut three inch wide binding, or three inch strips. You need to put them together, as you see I put this together here, so that it will go all the way around your mat. And if you're not sure how to do this, watch our double fold binding video. A link will be in the description below. Okay, you do two, uh, you cut two pieces that are 16 by 18, as I did, as you see, and you pin the two layers together. Now, using a marker, you can round the corners, and how I did it is I used a plate and I just put it on here, I marked it, and then I cut it, and that's how I rounded the corners. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and you're going to start to stitch your binding onto it. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, we're going to line the binding on the raw edge of the mat, the folded edge is inside, the raw edges are along the mat. You're going to leave about a six inch tail when you start. And you're going to start sewing. Just go around the corners like so. Okay. Now I'm going to sew the binding all the way around to the other side. And what I'm going to do when I get to the other side, I'll show you how to join them together. Okay, I stitched all the way around, and you want to end and leave, again, about a six inch tail on the other end, and I'm back tacking to hold it in place. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to overlap the two bindings. We're going to do it three inches. Because the binding was three inches wide, we're going to overlap it three inches. Here's the, here's the underneath part. Three inches. And we're going to cut the other end off. Cut it a little crooked. Let me cut it straight. It's better if you're working on a really flat surface. Now we're going to open them up. We're going to put the right sides together, like so. like this. And we're going to pin them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew 
I should have probably had it a little bit longer, but I'll be able to do it. You're going to sew from this corner up here to the corner down here to join them together. I've got the right sides together. I, there for a minute I thought I did it wrong, but I didn't. I'm going to back tack. I'm going to lay it flat and I'm going to sew. Hand press it or finger press it open and now you have almost an invisible seam there and we're going to sew the rest of it using a quarter of an inch seam allowance sew that down Your next step will be to fold the binding over to the back and then pin it all along there. And you're, you would cover up your little seam that you have there and then there's two methods that you can do to finish it. You can either hand sew it with a slip stitch on this side or you can stitch in the ditch. And we also have a video on stitching in the ditch but I'll just, I'm not going to do the whole thing. Okay, so you would go all the way around covering up and to stitch in the ditch you would just turn it over to this side and stitch right along where uh, the seam was and that will tack it down. I'll show you then what it looks like on the bed. Stitch right along in there. a little bit. So let you see. You would go all the way around and then that holds the back down. Or as I said you can hand hand stitch it on the back. When you're done you would have a mat that looks something like this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video please click the like button, share it with your friends and comment. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos. Also visit our website needlepointers.com for free sewing projects and information.